Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating the computation of inverse Z transform, that is the evaluation of the inverse Z transform using partial fractions approach in which we look at an another uh, algorithm or another method for finding the values of the partial fraction coefficients. So we are going to look at the method 2 to find the partial fraction coefficients in this example. So given the Z transform X of Z as 1 plus Z inverse and then the denominator is 1 minus Z inverse plus 0 0.5 Z power minus 2. Now we rewrite, rewrite this X of Z such that it, it is a rational polynomial of positive powers of Z. So X of Z will be equal to Z square multiplied by 1 plus Z inverse upon z square multiplied by 1 minus z inverse plus 0 0.5 z power minus 2. So x of z by z will be equal to z plus 1 in the numerator and then, and then we have z square minus z plus 0.5. So that is the uh, rational polynomial in positive powers of z. Now let us look at the poles of this uh, z transform that is we have to find the roots of z square minus z plus 0.5. We can see that the poles are uh, uh, poles are complex and they can be determined as follows. So minus b that is 1 plus or minus square root of b square again 1 minus 4ac that is 2 and then divided by 2. Therefore the pole 1 is 1 plus uh, root of minus 1 so j divided by 2 and pole 2 will be 1 minus j divided by 2. So these are conjugates of each other. Now we can write, now we can apply the partial fractions method that is x of z by z will be equal to z plus 1 divided by z minus z1 into z minus z2 which will be equal to a1 by z minus z1 plus a2 divided by z minus z2. Now here we apply method 2 for finding a1 and a2. So, so in this method we use the following formula that is use a k will be equal to z minus p k that is a, it has a pole at p k z minus p k x of z divided by z and then we substitute the value as that is z will be equal to p k. So this formula will give us the values of the coefficient. So for example a1 will be equal to z minus z1 multiplied by z plus 1 divided by z minus z1 into z minus z2 and z will be substituted as z1 that is we replace z with z1. So this a1 will be equal to simply z1 plus 1 by z1 minus z2. So by using the results for z1 and z2 we can easily show that a1 will be equal to 1 plus 1 plus j by 2 and then difference between 1 plus j by 2 and 1 minus j by 2 that is 1 plus j by 2 minus 1 minus j by 2. So this will be equal to 3 plus j by 2 divided by j. Therefore upon simple algebra a1 will be equal to 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2. So, um, similarly the second quotient that is a2 will be equal to z minus z2 multiplied by multiplied by z plus 1 upon z minus z1 multiplied by z minus z2 and the value of z will be equal to z2. So cancelling these two coefficients, uh, these two factors we, we are left with z plus 1 by z minus z1. So it will be equal to z2 plus 1 divided by z2 minus z1. Therefore, a2 will be equal to 1 plus z2 that is 1 plus 1 by so it will be 1 plus 1 minus j whole by 2 and then z2 minus z1 will be minus of z1 minus z2 so it should be minus j. So this will be equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 that is 3 by 2 by minus j so it will be 1 by 2 minus so uh, the real part will be minus j by 2 by minus j so it will be 1 by 2 and the imaginary part will be 3 by 2 by minus j that is plus 3 by 2 j. Obviously a1 and a2 are conjugates of each other. Now we can write the uh, z transform x of z divided by z will be is equal to as equal to 
वन बाई टू माइनस थ्री बाई टू जे दैट इज ए वन डिवाइड बाई जेड माइनस जेड वन प्लस वन बाय टू प्लस थ्री बाय टू जे डिवाइड बाय जेड माइनस जेड टू नाउ बाय सेंडिंग द जेड इन द डिनोमिनेटर टू द राइट साइड वील गेट एक्स ऑफ जेड विल बी एज दैट इज वी कैन राइट एक्स ऑफ जेड एज वन बाय टू माइनस थ्री बाय टू जे डिवाइडेड बाय वन माइनस जेड वन जेड इन वर्स प्लस वन बाय टू प्लस थ्री बाय टू जे डिवाइड बाय वन माइनस जेड टू जेड इन वर्स therefore x of n will be equal to a 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 j multiplied by inverse z transform of 1 by 1 by 1 minus z1 into z inverse so it will be z1 power n u of n similarly for second part it will be 1 by 2 minus plus 3 by 2 j multiplied by z2 power n u of n therefore the signal x of n will be equal to 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 j multiplied by z1 that is 1 plus j by 2 power n u of n and then the second term will be 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 j multiplied by 1 minus j by 2 power n u of n so that is the uh, signal x of n so to summarize we have looked at an example illustrating the evaluation of inverse z transform using partial fractions where we used the method uh, second method that is another method to find the partial fraction coefficients so given x of z equal to 1 plus z inverse by 1 minus z inverse plus 0.5 z power minus 2 we first tried it in a, a form that it, uh, a rational form in which we have only positive powers of z and then the next step is to find the poles of x of z which are found to be 1 plus j by 2 1 minus j by 2 so x of z by z will be z plus 1 by z minus z1 into z minus z2 so then we can write this rational polynomial as a uh, partial fractions uh, decomposition that is we write it as sum of two partial fractions a1 by z minus z1 plus a2 by z minus z2 we can find the coefficients a1 and a2 by using the formula ak is equal to z minus pk into x of z by z and where we replace z with pk so a1 will be equal to z minus z1 into z plus 1 divided by uh, the denominator that is z minus z1 into z minus z2 so upon simplification this will be simply 1 plus z1 by z1 minus z2 and by plugging in all the numerical values we get a1 as 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 j similarly uh, uh, we can compute the value a2 and it is found to be 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 j and then finally x of z by z will be equal to 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 j divided by z minus z1 plus 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 j by z minus z2 and now uh, we can rewrite this x of z as 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 z uh, uh, j divided by 1 minus z1 into z inverse plus 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 j divided by 1 minus z2 z inverse that is this one is basically convenient for finding the inverse z transform this formulation so therefore x of n will be equal to uh, assuming that this we are talking about causal signals x of n will be equal to 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 j which is a constant multiplied by z1 power n that is 1 plus j by 2 whole power n u of n and the second term will be 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 j multiplied by z2 power n that is 1 minus j by 2 whole power n u of n so that is the a uh, final inverse z transform or the time domain sequence from which we got the given z x of z thanks for watching